health news now a groundbreaking new treatment is prolonging the lives of dogs with a certain type of bone cancer and even more exciting here is that the same type of vaccine might also one day help people with cancer cbs 2's dr max gomez says that this hot new field of cancer has more details rather on this hot new field of cancer immunotherapy what's his name Denali. Denali. Denali is back at work as a therapy dog at New York Methodist Hospital, six months after he was diagnosed with an aggressive type of bone cancer called osteosarcoma. He had his 10th birthday two uh, weeks ago. It's a birthday he shouldn't have had. Oh, you're a big lad. Denali received an experimental vaccine at the University of Pennsylvania's School of Veterinary Medicine. Let's go. Many dogs in the trial already had the standard treatment for osteosarcoma, amputating the cancerous limb followed by chemotherapy. Then researchers gave them radiation and a live bacterial vaccine. So the concept of the vaccine is really to educate the immune system to recognize tumor cells and to kill them. Most dogs with the disease die within a year of diagnosis, but many who received the vaccinations are still alive two years later. The research is not just encouraging for dogs with osteosarcoma. Scientists hope it could one day be used to treat children with the disease. So far, cancer vaccines haven't been able to completely eradicate all tumor cells, but in combination with other therapies, they have held cancer in check and extended life with relatively few side effects. Denali's disease is showing no signs of progressing. What if this trial eventually helps save human lives? That would be fantastic, you know, again, because he is a therapy dog and it's really been his life to, you know, promote healing. One more. Oh. Now, the vet school is still looking for six more dogs with osteosarcoma to take part in the trial. The treatment may also be used one day to treat women with types of breast cancer that are similar to osteosarcoma. And other studies have recently shown that immunotherapy also works against cancers like leukemia and lymphoma. Christine? Dr. Max, thank you. Now